This week's episode of Out and About was bananas. I get spit and mad and show my Jersey side and Griffin Johnson's here. Click to subscribe and watch. Hey, you crazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on into Out and About episode number 112. I think, um, as you'll notice, I'm actually wearing a Malaysian weave. Joey came in today at about Nana strolled in about 2 p.m. and with more products from the Harlem Beauty Store than yeah. I have ever seen in my life. She had that, eyelashes. That, she that, had no, that's hair. yaki. This is yaki? Yeah. What's that mean? It's the type of hair. No, it's not yaki. That's actually human. Is it emo if I do this? Yeah. You look really great though. You look you like it's Kid Rock a little bit with the hat. No, it's not Kid Rock. You look like an angry um cis lesbian mm. who um if you, you yeah, to just change yourself to a fence to, um, to, to protest something like someone like was what mistreated would I be protesting though right now monkey monkey pox vaccine you know much still have not worked for me you don't take enough I took enough like when I went back to that those, those young boys house from where I met them at so I ended up in Edgewater New Jersey they were in middle school why did you go back to their house no they weren't in middle school they were in um, elementary pre 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 <laughs> they were in pre-k <laughs> no I went back and I took a bunch of mushrooms and I wasn't even really that drunk. I mean, I, I felt a little numb, but like, I never see shit. Like, I want to see like bunnies fly. I don't think you took face. that much. I think you did a square at the and beach. Then I, and then I took I them to triple down. I go, all right, you want to see, shit? take a handful of these things. Then and I took them and we went to that club in Boston. Yes. I took a whole handful. Like that didn't do shit either. Well, Nana was boozing. Are you not supposed to drink on them? Uh, like it, it depends on like how much you take. Like if okay. you take enough, it's not going to matter. But like, if you're just casually boozing and like throw one or two in, yeah, you're going to feel more like you're going to feel a little tingly, but just more. Like okay. So I'm, what I got to do is I to be my sober. vision was going. Blah, 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 oh yeah. No, no, it can happen. It yeah. was really crazy. So I, I woke up and tripped my dick off. What'd you say? So I got to find some new ones and just do them by myself. Not myself, but just do them like without drinking Maybe and things just, like that. You just up it. Cause it's a new thing. Like now everyone, and that weed is legal everywhere. Like everyone's this next next thing. I just can't wait till the heroin's legal again. Well, you should just go straight to fentanyl. I think that's the move for you. You know, I, uh, can I tell the, the, uh, the, the uh, Mad Mafia secret? Yes. I'm pretending to work on my computer. I'm actually just swirling on, on, on. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending. We all knew you weren't working. <laughs> you're not. You're not. Now, now where around. is this file? Like, Joey, your computer's not touch screen. Yeah. It's not, it's not, <laughs> now, where is this file back here? Um, we had a very fun weekend on the Jersey Shore, Spring Lake, New Jersey. Shout out to all the man mafia that came to Jenks. That was at Parker House. That came up and said hi. We had an absolute yeah. blast. Um, how fun was that? It was fun until you get um, until, until Jeff Jeff Delo tries to um, <laughs> bring you into his cult. <laughs> He's now he's brainwashed. I Jeff think he, D? No, Jeff D. You know what Jeff Delo is? What? Jeff Delo is, and I, I, I'm, I'm being very serious. He is Mar um, Charles Manson. What and do you all mean? Those, and all those, all those young women he has That's brainwashed. That's not true. Jeff D is not Charles Manson. And all those young girls he has brainwashed. Well, they're, Catherine yeah. Tate are going to go kill Catherine Tate. Or Catherine Tate killed them. What happened? Uh, no, Sharon Tate. Uh, they killed Sharon Tate. Sharon Tate, yeah. You think Jeff Delo is going to murder someone on the show? I don't think he's murdered, but I think he, he's mind controlling. He's very mind controlling. He's, he's down there. He's, full, very, he's, he's, very, he's doing full mind very control. Very ritualistic things that they do. With that DJs, well, I we always pregame at the girls' house. Yeah, I tweeted. I tweeted <laughs> shut the fuck. I tweeted out. I go. It's, everyone on the Jersey Shore is so fucking nuts about plans. We go to this part this time. On this day, we do this. On this, do this. Can I not go to the bar whenever the fuck I want? I don't want to do like. I'm all about. I want to be on like a schedule and do this and this and this. Everyone relax. Yeah, I don't like that about a beach I'm trip. I'm 32. Yeah. Let me do whatever. I'm I like a little bit of real ritualistic, especially if you're the first time. I like the people showing the ropes, but then they like, can use your own assessment. Like the one the club that he likes is called DJs. It very is fun. We love DJs. Very fun. We it love is. Funny Anthony. We love everyone there. But it's, it's not fucking. For, it's not, first of all, it's not. You, it's not for someone my age. It's not something you do every single night or sometimes it's something twice. You do once a summer. It's something you do once a. A lifetime. Once once a full moon. <laughs> yeah. No, so once he goes a, every single night. Like, I understand that's the fun, the funnest place to go where that's right next to their house. Um, it is not for me. Um, I enjoy the exuberance. I, I enjoy had a younger time. Oh, life. I probably would have loved it. It's for, it's for Nana. No, it's so. too crowded. <laughs> but you liked it. You were there late. Well, yeah, because I couldn't find a way, my way out. Yeah. No, it's huge. It is, it is true, though. It was very... Um, you know, Jersey. No, no, what else. I will say, Public? I'm much more of a Jenks girl. I'm a hundred percent, hundred thousand percent more of a Jenks girl. No, you're part. You're a uh, Parker House. No, even Parker House is good. But Parker House that, downstairs is so hot. I love the Parker House. I love Molly shout, Parker. Shout out the lady. Last night, what's her name? Mo her name's Molly. Molly, the lady who's a the manager there, brought us right in. So last she, night, so I went no, no, after you left that night. You went again Saturday night. I went to dinner. I went with um, a bunch of friends. From that were staying with me, I went with Glennie Balls. I went with. Don't um, say. Do not say who I think you're. Dana Beard. Don't. And his beautiful wife. Can you please bleep that. Um, well, I really am. I'm beginning to get upset about your friendship. A whole group with us went. Um, Devin was there. Um, Rhea was there. Marty was there. We were Did all you together. Hook up with Devin. I wanted to because we were all coupled up. Right. Uh, but no. 
I went because uh, I saw I, you had a FaceTime going. You actually spit on your fingers. And then no, went. everyone was everyone was hanging out. Um, you know, they all had houses in Belmore. They were staying wherever they were staying, and we um, but we all met up for dinner, and that was really nice. And, and uh, Molly wasn't there that night, but a guy named Tom was there, <gasps> and he walked us right into the club again. Tommy we got salami. Our, no, it was different. Oh. Tom. He walked us right in the club again. We got our stamps. They had the best drinks there. I gotta say, if, yeah. you're, if you're ever at Parker House, get that cucumber oh, drink on the menu at the restaurant. I don't think they have it in the Heaven. back. You know, it was so funny. We were sitting there on the deck watching literal busloads of people of kids show up one Bussy to the loads. next to the next to the next and it was like all of a sudden there, we must have seen 15 20 busloads of kids and Nana and trish are just sitting there like just maleficent just watching all these straight yeah. boys go in drinking yeah. i'm looking over at girls joey, have no going, panties on joey's going mm, 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 drinking and saying next thing you know we get escorted in the back we're doing shots we're hanging out yeah um parker house is very fun love that place i love yeah. jenks they have the big outdoor place i even got a little pack this, uh, like later on that we went on there on saturday night are you gonna go down again we only have how many days left i'm not i don't think I'm um done. i'm not gonna go down i want you again, to go, ever, i want again. you to, <laughs> i want you to go to fire island this weekend Saturday, we're at Jet Ski's having a block party at his place in Kismet. So Ooh. we want to we want to go there. And we'll stay at Jesse's house. Jet Ski's house? Yeah, they have. Janiella said there's room. Who's gonna go? Is that coming? Me. Yep. Me. You. Jet Ski. So that means I'll, no, I'm not coming because that means I'll end but up. But other on a people couch are gonna somewhere. go too. That means I'll end up on a couch somewhere. Oh, you'll definitely be in a couch. Then no, then I'm not going. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think you should. Absolutely not. I'm not sitting to, on a couch. To Jet, why don't you get a room, a hotel? There's or no why don't you stay, on my, stay in my place? Weren't you going to sleep with that guy? No. You said I'm not allowed to. You hated him. No, but I, I, I mean, he's not. Uh, he said something rude to me like 10 years ago and I held on to it, which is, I think, a normal and he health, want normal and healthy. He but he doesn't want to have sex with you me. You seemed into it last episode. You don't want to have sex with him. Why not? You you do not have sex with people. Don't pretend like the reason well, you're I not would. going is because. No, you would not, Jolly. So why aren't you staying at your house? I am. So then I'm, I'm staying in, then if I say I'll stay at Jetski's house. I offered Jetski's because I knew you would not want to stay at mine, but you're more than welcome. That's to what stay I mean. I'll, get a, I'll have a bed at Jetski's house. I don't know. Maybe we can find, if we find but you're you, not staying at Jetski's. No, but if we find you a bed, your own bed, will you come? Well, Ye- no, if I, Ye- if I find in my own bed, yeah, then I'll come. Okay. Anyone listening right now who has a bed? No, I'm not staying at a stranger's <laughs> house. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think. I think. I think. After. I think. I put a stake in the um, a nail in the coffin. After that, I think I'm done. I'm really pissed. For, I, I didn't get to go swimming once. I, I, I didn't go swimming once this summer. I, like, I, like, or like drink and like have fun by the pool. Yeah. My sister was my sister's house. I was there. Like, so your sister I, has a pool. We used to before she moved to South Carolina this last this year. This is the sister that I met. No, you never met Dana. Oh, so this is my sister that I grew. You know, that I grew up. In. My sister just had the house there, so yeah. we, we raised the kids at that house. And it's like you know, every summer we had this beautiful pool. So I was, I, swimming is my favorite thing. Listening to country music and swimming and drink, day drinking is my favorite thing. And we, I did it probably in, in a normal summer for the past fifteen years. I probably did it. Um, how many days in the summer? Hundred days. Yeah, I Maybe. did it like ninety-seven days of the summer. Like I, every well, single we day, I was beach. swimming. Uh, you hate the beach, so you like pool. I don't like the beach at all. Yeah. Well, we um, were so like there was just so I, I don't think, clear, I don't think there I, was an opportunity. I don't think I ever did a, a real swim day this entire summer. Well, how do, don't you have a, play, a pool at your place, Sandra? Well, what the fuck? But is it shared with strangers? Straight no. boys? No, I don't that. No, it has I to be private. A pool in a backyard that a house that <laughs> my friend. <laughs> Will they be? No, there? I can't go to people's parents' house. I need to be able to, to be myself. <laughs> you would not be no yeah. I need to be able to drink I can't what I want to drink I don't want to have to be like tiptoeing around wondering if the family's going to think I'm crazy I need like a place to myself where I can go swimming um, thank god I'm, oh actually never mind I'm going swimming where oh fuck I forgot my vacation no, well, where are you going I'm going upstate um, to Westchester where Billy right down the street from Billy Football lives uh, where, for who oh uh, to August uh, 5th uh, the, August 5th through the 10th Lee and I got, we got the mansion so we're going oh, there oh how great August 5th through the 10th I won't be at work that's fine. I'll be up there. Hiatus. Because you're, cause you're go, well, because you're going to I'm going Greece. to. Yeah. You're not going down that. You're, you're on, on I'm the going the, the 14th to the t- 13th th- or something to the 24th. I don't know. But you're going to, you have the mansion to yourself. Are you going to drive those cars? Um, That's well, scary. I feel like that's so no, much No, we don't really drive the cars. We just hang out there. But yeah, I totally forgot. Now I have my summer. Explain who Leah's person is without giving it away. You don't Oh, nothing. It. Leah, it's a friend of ours that- uh, Very, very wealthy. Very wealthy, wealthy friend of mine. Very, very nice. Um, He- um, we rent it. We um, he lets us use his house very every summer. It's um, Leah's son's birthday, so we have the birthday party up How there. We fun. invite her parents to come. Her father's coming. You know, my poppy was supposed to come, but he can't come because he has to work at the pool. Um, lifeguarding. 
<laughs> so believe it or not, he actually lifeguards yeah. in the summers. So yeah, so I forgot that's to be my last straw. But after that, that's the nail in the coffin. I'm done with summer. I'm ready to. I'm ready for fall. I'm you're ready for the cold guy. weather. You're a fall war like. Cozy uh, sweatshirt. No, I still I still wear tank tops because I still sweat like a beast. But I just like <laughs> I like I can sleep with the window open. Yeah. I I can turn my air off. I like finally late August like September is the best. Be like the water is so warm. It's like perfect. what water? It's hazy ocean water. It's hazy. Oh. It's great. So everyone's getting eaten up by sharks. I don't know why you go in that water. How about that? We went to the beach that day and I only I only got because I was going to die of heat stroke. <laughs> he was. You should have seen Nana. Yeah. I was, there was one little umbrella. In. PFT was from uh, PFT and his wife are very lovely. They They're had every, everything everything you could ever need. A great cooler. They only had one umbrella, though. I did want my own umbrella. Next time, um, not because I'm not trying to get suntan, because I look great with a tan. It was a hundred. It's because it's fucking a hundred three. It was hundred three degrees, and I look. The waves are rough, and like oh, you have yeah. to, you have to get out past the waves in order to Me be able and to Glennie relax. Got knocked look, the fuck down, look, and we were like eight hundred pounds I'm there, combined. I'm floating on my back. I look, I see Joey's getting beat up over and over <laughs> for 20 minutes. He's in the surf, battling around. Trying well, to I don't want to go over thing. there to step on crabs and get my fucking bed. No, you had, to get out, you had to go 10 yards out and you would have been fine. The sharks can get you there. You know, there's been six shark attacks yeah, on Long Island Yeah, and your dumb ass is all the way over there. Jones Beach, believe it or not, which is close to the city. Oh, six yeah. shark attacks thus far. One of them, a 16-year-old kid, got eaten. How great would that be if I got eaten by a shark? A big bite. Would not die because- Would you rather lose an arm or a leg? Ooh. I'm thinking what I changed the podcast name to. Oh, sorry, hold on. Um, <laughs> wait, sorry, sorry, I'm brainstorming actually. Me, I'm, I'd rather die. Arm or leg? Dead. No, you have to. Choose I wouldn't pick one. All right, hand or foot? Neither. I would rather be. You if can I get the cool claw, you can bedazzle the claw. No, I'd be. I'd rather just die. <laughs> now you can decorate the claw with. You know that's pistol. that's you know that that's like asking someone with the biggest fear in the world of of spiders. Like, would you just live in a spider tower tank. finger? Nothing. You okay. have to do tower finger. No. What about what about? Thing. General you know, mutilation like, that you can then turn into a vagina. You know, it's my <laughs> my biggest fear. General mutilation, which you can then turn into a bionic pussy. No, I think you know. I think I'm done anyway. With what life? I'm just like over it. You're over it. <laughs> now she will spiral mid show. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's it's sick to say, but it's like once you get to the top, there's nowhere else to go but down. <laughs> and it's like I've experienced everything I can ever experience. I have everything I can ever want. That's how I feel with the Jersey Shore. It's like I'm it's good. Like, I'm good, sis. Oh, you know what else I want to talk about? What if I really Fit? die this week? If you die. Should I take my own life? Uh, do it on live stream. Let's get those followers up. God forbid, cut that part. <laughs> um, you know what else I want to talk Not about the whole on part. Jersey Shore? The fitness culture on New Jersey yeah. is fucking insane. I went to the gym. You know how like Loser. parents tell their kids to go to the gym, like whatever. Oh, go work out. You'll get like, a, you'll make you feel good, whatever. The parents at this gym were working their that's, kids out. That's so weird. It was like the mothers in here looked like they could squat a compact car. Yeah. Like these women just built like tan, like, and they're like pushing the kids. The dads are out lifting the sons. The mothers are out running the daughters. It was so hilarious to me. <laughs> the only other place I've seen fitness culture like that is in Long Island where it's just like, it's part of it. And people don't go there to the gym to like, you know, it's not like an Equinox where you go there to like, you know, relax, whatever. There it's, they go there to lift and to put on mass. And it's like 22, 23 year old kids and then no one my age, and then parents. Well, because they, 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 they have to take out their racism and um, aggressions <laughs> toward other things besides, you know, because Trump, because Trump's not winning, didn't win they anymore. They have to channel it into making their kids hot. The Trump culture in New Jersey is shockingly disgusting. What do you mean, disgusting in terms of there's not enough? There's not no. There's a, it's like they like they like go to the beach with the flags like and like and hang yeah. flags like you're you're that much of a fucking loser that you have to hang <laughs> here we go baby your fucking your it's political bizarre. beliefs on the fucking thing it's so much worse on the gulf yeah like you like seriously if you go like, to what is what is you what like is who you, you voted for have to do with anything on the also, beach what is who like if you, you go to voted for in 2016 like, yeah get yeah. over it you fucking losers nice <laughs> now nana, nana, nana's turning the corner i like angry nana believe it or not oh what about i yelled to the man what what are you talking about when I got in a fight with the Taj Mahal. Oh, I'm telling this story. You shut your fucking mouth. This was the most aggressive thing I've ever seen. We, now, I knew was now, it was bad because we were going. Now, whenever Nana overheats, she you can see the just that venom. But first of all, out. I was annoyed because you promised me I'd be dropped off curbside and, and escorted up. to the pool. You were six and I, feet away from no, the No, I wasn't. We had to park all the way to park. God so forbid we drive him in a luxury automobile to the beach so he doesn't have to walk. I was crammed in the back seat of that okay. car. <laughs> yeah, crammed in the back seat. Anyway, we go to the beach. He's sweating. and we're schlepping our shit there. It's about maybe 30 yards from the beach, not far. We pull up, there's a little hut. In 30 Asbury, yards? Shut up, in Asbury Park, where you have to get, 
your uh, ticket to go on the beach. 10 bucks to go on the beach. So this guy's there. There's a little, it's a window facing the boardwalk and another one where a fan is. So I go, okay, it's 10 bucks. You go to the machine, you get your receipt, you give him the thing, they give you a wristband to go on the beach. Joey- Was looking for my wallet. <laughs> I'm not even gonna be able to tell you, I'm not gonna get through this. Joey is looking for his wallet. In my bag. In, his bag. In my beach bag. He puts the bag up on the counter where the guy is and blocks the fan. No, no, no. The first time I put the you weren't there because you were you were doing something else. I put it on the regular counter where you pay, like where yeah. you sign your checkbooks okay, and so things like that. Ask, There's guy, a counter and you're at a window. That's where you put your bags to look for your thing. Like I was looking for right. my wallet so to pay the fucking guy so to get he, on his dumb fucking beach. You want the money or not? You hold on, sucker, hold on, motherfucker. He he puts it there. The guy says, "Take it down." I'm like, "Ooh!" He just almost got his head bit off. I can see it in his eyes. So he takes it down. He walks to the side. For my first, I said, I said, I said I'm, getting, "I'm getting money to pay you. You want to get paid or not, motherfucker?" That's literally what he said. And then he you walks dumb around. dumb motherfucker. Shut up. Fuck. And then he walks around to the side. He puts it up there. The guy says something. He goes, fuck you. This isn't the Taj Mahal. Do you want to get paid or not? And me and Zach turn around. We're like, banging on the window. What is going I'm on? I'm looking for my wallet. I'm not bending over in the fucking <laughs> yeah. ground. Getting and on but, the but you know what that ground. Was? That, was the my wallet. that was the heat getting to him. This guy was so taken aback. Everyone was taken aback Good. because he snapped. And then I go, I go, why can't you get a fucking air conditioner in here, dude? It's a hundred. It was 120 degrees in the thing. He was like, oh, you got to tell the town to do that. The like, town. Okay. And also the little fan. Everyone's was so new, dramatic in New Jersey. The fucking cops say like they have nothing better to do. They act like they're fucking gods. Like God, they, they're, they're like, like so dramatic you know I mean? in New Jersey. That was his reaction to having his bag moved. Point, <laughs> point proven. Yeah. Point fucking proven. It well, that's why I'm never going back. And I hope the whole place burns to shit. <laughs> it is. It is, it is uh, bizarre. Parker House was strange too because there were fucking cops everywhere. Well, because they, 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 they act like everyone just murdered someone down there because they, they have nothing better going on to do. So they like take their one inch they have of fucking authority and they fucking run with it. It's like, dude, it's a fucking a shithole fucking bar. You think <laughs> you're acting like fucking you're acting like the president's in there and we're like trying to assassinate someone. Well, like, fucking what are they looking out for? Drugs? No, there was a, they want to get a fake ID. Uh, there was about fights. These kids are like 19 years old. What are they going to do in a fight? Right. But we walk in and there was like. It was just, I was like, why are there so many cops? There was state troopers and regular cops. I'm like, what are you doing? God forbid a kid has too many beers and throws up. What are you going to arrest them? It yeah. was bizarre to say the least. I got arrested prom weekend down the Jersey Shore. For? For underage drinking in my hotel room. For, they would start, he they, goes for they, prostitution. Was a they banged on the they door. Really? Yeah, they banged Jesus. on the door just to fucking fuck with people. And they found a beer in our room. How old? High school. No, it was the year, dear. We we're 18. 1997. I got, to my, I got handcuffed to my friend Nick Orsioli because they ran out of um, the, they had, they had the wrist ties for everyone. Yeah. They ran out of those. So they had to handcuff me and Nick Orsioli, who had a crush on at the time. And we got, we got now, escorted news out radio of the hotel was the room one together. Show on TV. We got escorted out the thing together and everyone took pictures of us holding hands. Um, it was the funnest, best thing ever. <laughs> that story and then, was no. it complete. That started <laughs> no. so bad and then just finished so high. No, and then I had, I had a little, I had a little toy in my pocket. What kind and of toy? Sex toy. No, it was like a little ad, like stuffed, a little, a little like a toy cat. That's where you kept your drugs. No, it was just a little toy cat. I, I had, I got on the board or something like that. So he looks at his, they're searching me for whatever they think I had. And he finds, he pulls it out. What's the, he goes, oh, at least you can tell your friends you got some pussy this weekend. <laughs> the cop said that to me. I said, to ew. your gay ass, they said that to you. Yeah. <laughs> you, go, you go, ew. Yeah. What were you doing in Harlem? Your card got tonight. Well, no. What did you buy? Well, I have a job tomorrow. I have to do the. Um, I'm doing the reunion show for um, the Jersey Shore. So yep. I have to do the girls' hair. Uh, the, um, the lead hair and makeup artist over there. Oh, so I have to do. Um, you know, I do the whole. <laughs> not cast. just regular. I'm the, no, I'm the lead. I'm the lead. We be performing. I, I tried to get hired as. I'm assistant. not performing. No, I, it's just it's just them doing the reunion just show a where quick they sit down. Grab, um, so I had to get some supplies. Now, um, Jenny, I have to, Jenny, I have to do a full uh, install, a full lace front install for her. Now you have wig tape. Actually, no, why don't we do a quick bag reveal? Yeah, so I have a bag reveal. What's the name of the store? First of all, start with what's in my head. That Now that is... Depression, what? anxiety, and addiction. No, what are these? This is Empire Human Hair, your crowning glory, sensational, yakky 12-inch. Okay. This has, now this has argan oil in it. Okay. Oh, no, that's not that. That's This is just the one. This is what I have to is wrap... Is this for black ladies only? No. Oh. This for, that's for Snoopy. Oh. Italians. So I have to wrap that around her. That's for, that's for Nicole's ponytail. Okay. This is just to add a little bit of length and volume to Diener's um, hairdo. She I tried to get hired as the assistant, his beauty assistant for this. They weren't having it. Now I got <laughs> a wig. Now I got wig tape. Do you mind? Okay. And I got I got I got went to the mega rolls. I got all this. Well, this is twenty three dollars. <laughs> now I never had to buy wig tape ever again because I went to the, the, the wholesale. Now Wait, got, he went to wholesale. Now Nana will only shop here. Take this because I don't want to booger. Nana, Nana does did buy a thinning shear. 
Okay. Okay. Thinning shears, that's going to help me blend the wig in into um, whatever I need to be done. I like those. Like when Thinning you get your hair cut, I like those. Yeah. I got an edger. Okay. Now this is for the baby hairs. Mm. So if Polly G has a baby hair hanging out, I need to go in there to get it. What does that do? This is also his <laughs> toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> beaver brush. Now I got eyelash glue. I got all Should we sell beaver brushes? Um, new lashes. Now pick your favorite style. Will you install on me? No. A, a lash install? Would you mind? I like hold them up. Okay, yeah. 3D glam. This is not me. I need I need something a little more a little more refined. I'm gonna go with that on your right hand. This is premium silk. Oh, I have this silk. Now it has 3D. Did I put this on? No, this is a make effect. No, I won't. I won't screw it up. Um, that's what I got there, and I also I to get um wig bonding glue mm -hmm. and. I still have to find ponytail covers, but because Nicole might, there's someone might be wearing hot pink. Someone might be wearing rhinestone. I need to be prepared. Speaking of hot pink, the jet skis thing, which you're going to each house has a theme for this block party and there's this pink. So we would have to wear something pink. When is this happening? Saturday. I really don't want to go there. How do you, how do you really feel girl? <laughs> tell us, tell us how you re really feel. Now, what's Sorry, that? I'm coming off a bender. Why do you have a pistol in there? <laughs> Hold oh, on. someone sent us these. In the oh, yeah. Mail. This is looking. There's a receipt there. Someone sent me those. It says Kayla Carly. And yeah. read, read it. Read it first. So someone sent us these. Feel free to send us gifts. We'll always read them on the air. This is. It's right there. Guards for that wet bussy from Carly with a K. And this is a. Joey offered these to Content Kim's husband. He Wait. said. To jo he says to Joey. Well, I would these, a certain no, age. he said, Kim. He goes. I know that you laugh, and a little piddle comes out. Happens to a lot of girls at our age. <laughs> he goes, she has, she she has, goes. The elasticity is gone <laughs> at that age, especially if you have children, y'all. It just now, goes. Now, can you shit goes, in these? You can't take a dump in that. Your shit is gonna fit in this if you glue two together. <laughs> so you can actually bond them together with the wig tape. <laughs> I Believe it or not, you can bond two together. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so thank you for those gifts. If you want to send us anything, you can send it to um, Joey Camasta or Barstool Pat at um, 3337th Avenue, second floor. Barstool Sports, Barstool New York, Sports, New York, New York, 10001. We also have our man Mafia up here. Yeah, we take, we take all donations. Oh, we also got a wedding invitation. Sandra? Oh. I don't know where it went. I think Content Kim has it. I'm not going to be able to make it, but Content Kim's going to go. Yep, we're going to send Content Kim and um, who? Smitty. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to send Contact Kim and Jerry Black. They're going to go on a mom's night out. We're send she would love Kim that. And she needs a vacay. <laughs> to the wedding. Does, does Jerry Black drink heavily? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. Your, what is, Judging what's from what's those poison? late night uh, DMs. Love, Sazerac? Sazerac? love scotch. Yeah. Scotch. scotch. Yeah. A Jewish Big. woman from Louisiana who drinks scotch. Big scotch gal, yeah. What in the world? Well, they, they, built, they, broke, they broke the mold when they met when they made Jerry. We all know that. We yeah. do know that. Um, oh, can I tell you about my new favorite show? What's and it I'm so proud. Oh, I know what it is. It's the Barstool Show. No. What is it? Well, it's called Antiques Roadshow. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, my new favorite show is... It's called Antiques Roadshow. It's been on the And I'm a little pissed 52. off about this. Erica Nardini, and I'm talking to you, CEO. She -E -O. She... Oh, she doesn't like that. I, I, I went back for... I went for receipts. What are you talking about? She posted about the show, about mo the most dangerous game. She posted on her main page. Who did? Eric Nardini. Oh. And I look back and back all the way to 2012. She never posted about our show. Well. Barstool versus America. So she obviously has a favorite. What's your. Well, now we're going to have to go. Uh, now, 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 I'm, now I'm declaring wig wars. Okay. <laughs> I would. I, <laughs> Mr. I would Nardini, like I actually declare a wig war. <laughs> Miss Nardini versus out and about. No, I, so I watched the show. Rowan does a fantastic job. Oh, how hosting. great is he? What a, 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 his comedic timing, his just just his delivery. Why did everyone hate Billy Football in that? I didn't watch it yet. I haven't watched it yet. They're either. jealous of Billy Football. Of his cake. Billy Football just wanted to go there and have fun. Oh, why is that busted open? Uh, absorbency Ooh. absorbency test. Joe. No, this not one now that's cracked open. Well, okay, I'll do it on this quick absorbency test. How much water is in there? A lot. Okay, so now this is after I had two iced coffees, a Gatorade, and um. A little bit of so, uh, that Sazerac from uh, from uh, from uh, Jersey Jerry. I'm sorry, just 
This can, <laughs> so this could really hold a content, Jerry. What do you think? What was your name, Jerry Black? Oh my God! Look at this. Well, a man has a man has a full bladder. Now, now, uh, now, a thoroughbred can piss in this, and it still stays still dry. So you could take Sea Biscuit himself, put this right in here. Wait, keep pouring it. See where it all goes, and then we'll hold it up. Now, throw it at Sandra's head. <laughs> Are you oh kidding me? The absorbency, Joey. Let me see. So I'll shake it Locked. a little bit. Oh my God. Absorbency test. Feel how it feel. And now the best part is once it cools down, you can actually use it. Now it's a, it's, it is dry to the touch. <laughs> no, it literally is. Feel that. That's incredible. Wow. Oh, well, shout out to and Amazon also- Basics Men's Guards Maximum Absorbency with Odor Control um, One Size Fits Most. Don't do an ad. Now you can do <laughs> well. If we if we want to advertise, imagine at the upfronts, everyone has like uh, like all these people coming in, like you know Chevy and this and that. Me and Joey have men's guards, yeah. <laughs> tan packs. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great show. Can I play a thing of my favorite part of um, Tommy Smokes? I'm, I'm Team Tommy. You no, I, team I just, Tommy. So I watched the first episode. Jordan Woodruff did surprisingly well. I just talked talk, talk to her. She's actually everyone thinks she's gonna be the weakest link. She's actually very a good competitor. Jordan is a sneaky good competitor. She's really great in it. Well, she's from um, the backwoods. Well, she's back bred. I'm going to play this clip of my friend, Tommy Smokes, screaming like a woman. And it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> this is Tommy. Those are scorpions. No, never- oh, they're alive! <laughs> One move and I think I screamed. Like right <laughs> I was. I saw that. I was rolling on the floor. Um, <laughs> what a great performance from my friend, um... Tommy Smokes, and he has a great track record because he wins a lot of things. He does. And you can catch that on the Barstool Sports YouTube page. I think every night will probably be an episode four by the time this airs. Yes. We're rooting for Tommy. Do you think that I should do that? Now, everyone keeps, there's a lot of back and forth with this. Do you with think what? I should do Barstool, where I have to live here? Barstool versus Survivor? Survivor. Barstool Survivor. I think you'd be a fucking night. I think if I'm you were sh- doing I'm it, I would it. not because I want you'd be a nightmare to be with here. I think you'd be good. Yeah, I think you. Should, I mean, you should definitely do. You should definitely do it. Well, well it's just because I want to see other people. I'm deal getting with mixed. You? I'm getting mixed reviews from my camp from from both camps. <laughs> well, who told you no? Leah. No, I mean here. Oh well, who's your other camp? Just people that I that that give me advice that I talk to a lot. Who? No, you don't know them. I need to know who. It's not Dana. Don't even tell me it's no, Dana. No, producer. Producers and, and higher ups. I higher speak ups. to. Well, they called me in a couple times this like, couple last week and they, they gave me like a, a, a pros and cons of things. Oh, so you're really considering doing this. So it's surviving bar so where you live in the office. What's the prize this year? Oh, I don't know. Is but it 10K again? I'm not looking for money. Okay. <laughs> I'm not looking for money. I'm looking for three hots and a cot, y'all. No, I, no I'm looking I'm looking to Airbnb my place out for the week. I, think <laughs> I, can, I can actually Airbnb. Now, I'm going to walk out of there with two grand over my, over my Christian ass. I'm walking out of there with two grand. Um, no, I don't know, but I don't, th- I don't think that's the right show for me. I think there's going to be more shows coming out that yeah. would be much more bet- that more. Speaking for me. of, the the great Tom Mullins, who's an editor here, approached me. Joey and I had a DI a while back to do like, it's almost like a cross between the simple life and dirty jobs where we go to these different things and train and do the jobs. Tom Mullins, who's like one of the greatest yes. editors we have here. Are you doing it back? <laughs> Stop. Came up to me and said, here's, the, the, I, this was my idea. And he gave us <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> and he, no, Mari, Mari has a sound sound still good <laughs> Sandra that looked familiar the we're levels still, look fine we're still good on sound the levels look fine <laughs> he gave me ideas of things we could do now this is actually this is actually the, Sandra's pubic area yeah. believe it or believe it or not this is actually a bush Sandra's before she goes uses Manscaped um so we'll check that out. Oh, we have a Griffin Johnson interview coming up after this. TikTok extraordinaire Griffin Johnson. I can't I was, believe he hit on me like that. It was so weird. It was beyond uncomfortable. <laughs> Every time that like I told he him, turned I told around, he was just looking you up and down, ready to pounce like a goddamn tiger in the woods. Well, you know he's been a chubby chaser for many years. Yeah. Well, Griffin Johnson, Johnson did talk about uh, his sex life, which he doesn't do often. He addressed the rumors of him dating his assistant. He talked about how he got into TikTok, why he left LA, why he left Sway House, what he's doing now, and basically what it's like to be young, uh, young, dumb, full cum, and um, rich and famous. Not dumb. He's very smart, but I was yeah. very impressed with him. Yeah. He was funny too, you know, which, yeah. which was nice. 22 years old. Imagine that. Yeah. I and turned that, it into a little bit of a business interview. I go, now, now, when, I, now when, I start, when, I, when I started milking his prostate, he, that, that <laughs> did. he milked it like this, believe it or not. His prostate is external. No, we had an absolute blast with Griffin. Um, so we hope you guys really enjoy that interview. I think we're just going to let it rip right now. How yeah, does that go. sound? Yeah. All right. Here is Griffin Johnson. 
All right, and now a quick word, Man Mafia, from our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. That's, That's a huge right. deal. I tried to get a regular therapist through my doctor. It took fucking forever. You have to call the doctor. They match you with someone. You don't know if you like them. You got to through your insurance. It's a nightmare. With BetterHelp, all you got to do is you got to go online. Within 48 hours, you're matched with a therapist. Joey's actually used this in the past. It's a benefit here at Barstool that they turned me on that I used it. And if you're on the fence about whether or not to try therapy, this is a great introduction to it. And it can really help improve your life. Joe, you like BetterHelp, correct? I love it. I've been using it for many, many moons now. And you know what I like? I don't want to have to go and sit into the room and sit with people. And That's like, half the battle, especially if you're in-, in Getting up, yeah. so if you're down in the dumps, the last thing you want to do is get out of your house, get dressed, and sit around people in a waiting room. That's why I like BetterHelp because I don't have to leave my house if I don't want to. I don't have to see on, on the phone, if, yep. on, the, on this chat if I don't want to. I can do it over the phone or we can even do like just regular chat with them. And it's on my terms. And you know what? I ha I need something, some specialty work. That's the best part. Okay? It's on and your it, terms. I mean, luckily I'm in New York City. There's like, they have specialists everything. Now everything. Nana's got specialty. She's got many different specialties. Yeah, but in smaller places, smaller regions, they may not have something that they have to, that you need that they, that they specialize in. Yep. And they have it worldwide. I'm sorry, globally. Sorry, US, where is it? It's everywhere. It's the internet. They have it everywhere. So you can find <laughs> the specialist. It's on the World Wide Web. Better help. You can find the specialist you need in your area. And yep. it's, it's so much more affordable than regular in-person therapy. And I like that you can match, be matched with um, a therapist in under 48 hours, which, which I love. And you can always change your therapist if you're not feeling it right away. Well, the best part is you just, just go ahead. dump them. You like, dump I didn't them, like yeah. my first two therapists. I was like, nope. Ghost, ghost, and then I got one I did like. I'm not going to reveal her Until they gave me the answer you wanted. Until they gave me the until <laughs> until she told me everything was fine, and then I, she goes, "No, nope, you don't need this." Um, and yeah, it's it's just a great service, and yeah, I can't the deal we're having. We get for a month, for first month, ten uh, percent off. No, right? yeah, you get yeah, you get ten percent off the first month at BetterHelp.com slash out and about ten percent off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash out and about. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash out and about. Um, Give it a try. If you're on the fence, if it's something you've thought about, but you're you know too lazy to figure out how to do it, BetterHelp. Uh, there's really no excuse not to use them. Thank you to BetterHelp. Now back to the show. All right, we're here with Griffin Johnson, TikToker extraordinaire, uh, Josh Richards, very good friend, and someone who has flown in all the way from, I believe, Florida mm -hmm. uh, just to be on our show because he saw Josh came in and he got so jealous that yeah. he was the supreme. He said, I need to come in and really show him up. So let's get, first of all, let's get on this mic because they're very weak. Yeah, get, okay. get up on that thing. Get okay. up on that like I'm a wedding dick, dear. I think. Um, talk to us. <laughs> what are you doing in New York? What have you been up to? Um, and what are your pronouns? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I prefer he, him. Okay. 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 Thank you for starting me. Now, ours like will that. change throughout the telecast. Okay, right. Depending on how we're feeling. And but if, right. you, if you misgender, we will cancel you. Okay. Yeah. So we just want to we'll let you know. So I need to keep up with that? Correct. Okay. All right. Okay. You'll so you're, just, the so you're he, shift. him. And uh, tell us again, what were you doing? What are you up to? Yeah. So I came here yesterday. I threw the first pitch of the Mets game. Did you? Epic. Yeah. That's it was, so cool. It was a fail, though, because uh, I didn't know that they weren't going to give me a catcher. I thought it was going to be like one of the players. It was my friend that was with me. Uh, I don't think he's caught a baseball in maybe 30, 40 years. So I threw it. I lobbed it. And it was like right above his head. Oh, my God. And instead of just standing up, he put his glove like this and tried to like move up with the ball, spun on the back foot, fell on the fell in the middle of the batter's box, messed up all the lines and his shoe flew off. Good so. Lord. How sounds does that come like a, about? Sounds like a, a wild night for me on a Thursday in the house kitchen. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I, <laughs> did you get this on Pride Night? Were you performing at Pride Night in the men's room? Yeah, Okay. I did, actually. Were you? How did you get – you have a team of people. You are here with a lovely lady who was mm -hmm. your assistant. I asked if it was your girlfriend. It is not. Everyone thinks that, though. I know. Are you, are you sleeping with your assistant? Um, I have before. I, we used to date, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. See? So we, we go way two. back. You also used to date someone very famous on TikTok whose I name, did. I believe, is Dixie D'Amelio. Oh, I, I did. thought – And you yep. wrote a diss track – I did do about that. her mm -hmm. exposing you for cheating. Correct. And I was already fucked. Like I already got exposed. You got fucked, or that's why you broke up because you were getting fucked. Well, no, I didn't actually. It was just a Snapchat. I wish I would have fucked at that point oh. because I got so much hate for it. I should have just done. Can it. you spit a couple um, um, lines from the from the track, Joey? Give um, a beat, please. <laughs> um, you said I cheated, and that's just fucked up. But you believed it. Ain't that convenient? <laughs> oh my God! It's Griffin, a man of many talents. Well, the auto tune helps. Oh yeah, well, we need Marty that. will get on that. Okay, so thank you. you. Did it, there was someone. So we talked to. He's good friends. For those of you who don't know, Kareem, who worked on Dave's show BFFs before. Um, was he fired from BFFs? 
I think so. Yeah, so Kareem is one of Dave's guys here. He set us up with Griffin, and before Griffin came in, we said, give us the rundown on this guy. Tell us everything we need to know about him, because <laughs> we know who he is from the internet, but we want to get yeah. we want to get the juicy stuff. Yeah. And one of the things that he said while we're on the topic of cheating is that you had asked a girl for toe picks. That is true. And so Joey had thought maybe it would be, um, you know, a good thing for him to have his toes exposed when you came in. Really? But then I went down there, realized I have a bunion, a corn, and a hammer toe. <laughs> And That's I didn't okay. want to turn your stomach. Have I you, love a good hammer toe. Oh, do you? No. <laughs> Are you a foot guy? <laughs> so I'll actually explain it. So at the time, I wish I would have just said like, show me your pussy. Like I should have just said that. Well, that's what, that, that was your hello to you today <laughs> so when you no, walked in. So he actually said, show me your pussy. Did yeah. you really believe it or not? What, that's what, that's what happened. Uh, and I was trying to make it like a, like a weird joke and it just ended up not being a weird joke because I was moving around the fact that I was saying like, I want to see your ass. So I tried to take an easier approach and it just backfired completely. So they took well, it out of context. So you took the scenic route to get the nude, essentially. I did. I, well, I tried. And, I tried. And, I, I didn't and get it ruined your relationship. <laughs> I didn't it, ruined, it ended in a diss track I, I, and ended in something else. You I, were only accused of have, asking for toe picks though, right? No, yeah, he yeah, asked yeah, for yeah. it. Yeah, he asked for the toe picks. So you got in trouble for asking for toe picks? That is, that is what the whole like thing she was. It'd be, a lot worse. It'd be a lot worse if you asked for the pussy pick. Yeah, you that's know? what I'm saying. So, but so I you, all you could have said is, "I have a sickness. I love toes, and I want you, you know, to let me suck your toes more often. Like play it off." Be there like, was you no know. playing it off. Okay. So essentially, she, she, she wanted out. She, she wanted out, and that was her excuse to get out. Essentially, is I'm looking for an out. Speculation. With this guy. Speculation. Yeah. Did you get money but, from the Hulu the Hulu campaign they got? Um, Any residuals? I sh I, sh I think I should. Hold on. Yeah, we're on the toe topic right now. Okay, toe topic. Right. <clears throat> so you, she dumped you because she wanted a reason out. Well, it's speculation, but there okay. was another guy in the mix. Made sense. He was, uh, you know, blowing up on the app. What's his name? A lot br more brand friendly than me. I was kind of a shithead. You know, we had sway going on. It made Same. sense. <laughs> From a career perspective, it made sense. I don't know, though. You think she dated just for, for career? Pers it's all part of her brand, who she's dating. No, There's no, no. Separation. I wouldn't say all of it. I think at the time, she probably kind of liked him and was like, this is much better for my career. Who was that person? Andy's probably better looking. Noah Beck. Okay, I saw. Right, Are you right. still friends with him? Yeah, I don't mind. And so it's, I'm, I'm over it now. I used to be like, "Fuck you." I do you still you. talk? Fuck you, I hate you. Um, <laughs> That's what Joey says to me when I try and make him come in and record <laughs> <laughs> more than twice a week. Do uh, you? Um, do you still talk to to old dicks? E. <laughs> uh, yeah, me and dicks don't really uh, communicate that much. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. So how did you? So you gave. You were in L.A. You were in the Sway House. I'm like so well versed in this now. Thank you, Kareem. You're right. in this. You're in this way house, and <laughs> and I will retain information that I heard 15 <laughs> minutes prior. Yeah, um, you're in this. You're in this way house. You moved to Florida. You gave it all up to go fishing. You're like out of the sea. I'm, I'm essentially, out of this. I'm out of this shit. Why? Um, I don't know. I just don't like LA, really. But yeah. are you still doing like? So you're not like in like the TikTok lifestyle. Not so like, really. how does that work? You switched up like your brand. Now you're doing TikToks for like fishing. Which yeah, is good. That's a big market, obviously. It's like outdoors. Right. So, you know, fishing. I, I did like a bunch of videos recently with like alligators, swimming with alligators. That oh. shit was crazy. Go Gators. Um, <laughs> yeah, go Gators. Go Gators. Oh, Where in Florida no. did you live? I live uh, like North Miami. North Miami. Oh, good. So yeah, you can get fun. down there if you want to while out. Exactly. With the Latino ladies. Right. Or, you know, <laughs> you can stay up north and, um, you know, fly, fly your freak flag. Freak flag meaning the Trump flag. Now, we won't yuck your yum on this show. We will not do it. If you like toes, that's fine. Uh, we won't yuck a yum, dear, or we won't kink shame. Um, you work with Sydney Wells, who works here. She's our outdoors girl. She's fantastic. You've yeah, done a few videos she's with cool. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, uh, we did some fishing stuff. No kidding. Yeah, she wanted us cool. to kill um, turkeys in the in the wild in the wilderness. Remember? Yeah. She wanted to take you guys. Yeah, we were going to try pitching us on hunting a fucking wolf. A goose was an old wolf. Yeah. She's like, why don't we a go wolf. hunt a wolf? I was like, I've never even shot a gun. I'm going to go hunt a, <laughs> an apex predator. Yeah, I'm good, sis. <laughs> no thanks. Yep. <laughs> what did you? So you were fishing. <laughs> yeah, we went fishing. Did you throw them back or did you eat them? We threw those back. You can't even eat the fish. Like actually. a used pussy. Yeah, just like throw it back. Yeah, use it for a good time and then put it back. Cool, 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 cool. Ride it hard, put it away <laughs> wet, you know? Ride it hard. Now, she, what is it? She, she, was, uh, she, was, road hard and, she was road hard and put up wet. Where are you from? <laughs> now, she was road hard. Where are you she from? She could eat a corn cob through a picket fence. She could eat a, now, he gets meaner than a rattlesnake and he unhinges that jaw like a cobra, okay? <laughs> Where are you from? Southern Illinois. Southern Ooh. Illinois. What's that? What's, is that near Kentucky? No, it's by it's Chicago, isn't it? 
Well, Chicago's a little north, so it's like Chicago, Champaign, me, Kentucky. Ha, That's the layout. So you're a, you're a country boy. Well, you, you know, you like them. Say. You like them thick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think define, so. Define define thick. But like, uh, am I like your type? Slim yeah, thick? is she your type? Yeah, am I say, sl- I'm slim thick. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, me, like let, slim thick. Let me paint a picture. Say he has a wig. On. She has a wig on. Okay. She they comes, have a wig on. They have a wig on. Is it changing? Just just for the segment. Great for the okay. segment. Say they have a wig on. You walk out of this office. You see a, a vision marching down Seventh Ave, and you hear. Okay. <clears throat> you look to the left. Don't look yet. You look to the left, and this is what you see. Look down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smash your pass, Griffin. <laughs> it's a hell of a camel toe they have. Um, it's called the moose knuckle, dear. Oh, the moose knuckle. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, there's, there's yeah. There's heat coming off this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't you'll ready. Get the, you'll get the vibrations. <laughs> So you heard it here first. <laughs> you'll, and John. you'll, right feel the, you'll feel the heat coming off it. <laughs> that's a smash. Define thick. I think that's, that was I mean, not thick. dummy thick. Joey's like two C's. Three C's is like a lot. Almost a Q. Do you get a Q? Q? Is that like the next level, I feel? Q thick is like, who's quarter, th- who's quarter thick here? <laughs> Daniela? Daniela, no. Daniela's got to eat a Ebony? Sweater. Ebony. She's dumb thick. She's dummy thick. Dummy thick. Oh. Did you do anything for Pride Month? I feel like you have a. You must have a ton of gay fans. I feel like that's um, yeah. you guys like invented like, not to like give you all the James, credit, but you guys like invented like TikTok in a way. Like you were the first ones there. Like right. you were the original. Like the as Dave said, the OGs. You know, has like James people- Charles ever tried to get in your pants? No, James I'm is sure. a pretty good friend actually. Oh, he is. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I feel like there's probably some of my other misconceptions friends, about him. Yeah, you know, James got a bad rap, but I, yeah. I, I like James. That's because people are jealous, probably. Yeah, I well, actually like James. What was the video where he popped his tuck? Was that you who said yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> pool, poolside. Poolside. I get a, I get a, he was poolside in like a women's one piece, and I get a, like a text message Marco, Marco from Joey this, uh, at three Josh in the morning. Him. It's him like popping his tuck. Josh Richards tucked while he was on the show. Yeah. You know what a tuck Legend is? Legend says he's yeah, still you tucked. Like, you know, like you stick in, you then you cross your legs and you're like, look at me, I got a pussy. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh my God, he's so well versed. That's going to be a good clip. Everyone's going to be like, he comes out, he comes clean <laughs> about his <laughs> transition. He goes, isolate, look at me, I, I got have a pussy. A pussy. <laughs> <laughs> just isolate, I have a pussy. And now she will come out. Now she will come out on the show. Will you come out for us just so we can make some waves, please? Yeah, just. Uh, Great. Woohoo. What other shows do you want to do while you're here? I don't even know. I, I actually You're so don't. Chill. I don't know yes. all of the the podcasts here. There's so fucking. This is many. the only one. It's yeah. the best one. I mean, we'll tell you the ones to avoid. Yeah. Okay. Mean girls. Avoid mean girls. Is that really avoid a, KFC radio? Avoid because I said so. Oh yeah. Avoid. I said so. Well, they have this woman on there. Her name is Content Cam. Oh, she's a fucking. <laughs> she's a whore. <laughs> and she cannot keep her hands off the guys, especially Ooh. the young ones. Especially Ooh. the young ones. So. Okay. What else should we? She's avoid? in her sixties. <laughs> All right. All right. We don't what, discriminate. What would, what would be good? What would Griffin be good on? I think he'd be good on. Don't, <laughs> Joey. Well, watch, that show's no longer watch around. Watch what she that said. show's no longer around. I thought you were going to say. Have my, you ever put yourself face. on? A, have you ever put I yourself on? <laughs> Griffin, have you ever put yourself on a spending freeze or on a gluten free diet? Stop. I have not. Okay. I haven't I, I haven't dabbled with <laughs> so, that. So yeah, but. so then that podcast won't be good for you. Um Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting out of control. Okay. Are you friends with Brianna Chicken Fry? Do you know who she is? Chicken yeah. Fry would be great. That'd be great. Oh, party with Grace. Her? Oh yeah, I like them both. Grace will try to uh, make you ride that ride that thing home. Grace? You yeah. Mean, yeah. Really? Grace, go, Grace O'Malley. So okay. she wants she's the guys a, to ride her face. Yeah. <laughs> Believe she's, really. really. she's a bull in the sack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bottom. You, Bottom Who knows? Grace. No, she's Grace is top. She'll, she'll, she'll pounce. She'll, oh, oh, okay, okay. Do you you hung out with? Did you go when Brianna was in Miami with those guys? You hung out with her and them, right? You went out yeah, with them. I don't yeah. know if you remember, but there was like this whole thing because I asked her to shave my armpit, like trim my <laughs> armpit, and she like did a video about it, and then her boyfriend got really mad. That's they broke the, up. That's the ex. They yeah, broke the, up the, yeah. because of it. That's a reason. That's too. why they broke up. He broke yeah. up. Breaking. He broke <laughs> up. I mean, imagine it's like you ask a girl to trim your armpit, and you, your boyfriend gets mad. It's like. Yeah, a, you got to cut. Sandra his asked us to trim her armpits not too long right. ago. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Do you trim them though? Always. A Why? Just because they get you buzz them? Oh, or I trim got them? some. I got some bushy. Can we ass see? Arm. Do you, you mind? Want to see? Yeah. 
Can you see? Oh, what a shame. He'll have to take the shirt off. See? <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, you do have bushy armpits. That's pretty. That's a now lot the of desk bush. will rise. <laughs> <Quite a lot. laughs> Can we lift this? So you just trim it right down. Yeah, it just take like, it's like it takes like thirty seconds, maybe tops. Dude, that's how, that's how long I last in the sack. Okay. Do the drapes match? The curtains match the drapes? They do. Okay. Yeah, we're we're like a like a darkish brownish, darkish brownish. Mm. That's the same complexion of the men that Sandra likes. Believe yeah. it or not, really. Ha, uh, have you ever met Justin Bieber? Uh, I've not. I, it would seem like it, it wouldn't be a strange if you were in that circle, though, right? You run with pretty pretty famous yeah, people. Who do you hang um, out with? Like, yeah, you lost besides all, us. Did you, besides us. Did you like lose all your friends because you moved out of L.A.? <laughs> like, who are you with now? Just hometown buddies? <clears throat> no, I mean, I still hang out with, like, Josh and stuff a lot. We were just the Indy 500 a couple weeks ago. That's so fun. Um, people come through Miami a lot. Like, when they ask who do I hang out with, it's yeah. always just random as fuck. Yeah. So it's safe to say through. that Trish and I are the most famous friends that you have. Yeah. Okay. I would say. That's easy, that's an that's an easy thing to say. So what's yeah. like a weekend like for you? You don't you're, not, you're I feel like you're like a guy who would like rather hang out and like listen to music and have a couple of beers with his yep. friends than like go to a club. I don't and go, go out nuts. that much. Like I, I save it like you know I'm not a I'm not a stick in the mud. It's not like I'm yeah. fucking lame. But I go out like once a month. I'll go hard, and then the rest of the time it's like fishing or like chilling on a boat, drinking beer. Do you like own that. a boat? Uh, I don't right now. Do you own a home? I do own a home in Florida. Yeah. It's pretty nice. That's nice. I love. I love living there. Do you live very? That's nice. That's a very good. You should be very proud of yourself. Thank to you. To be a homeowner at your age. Yeah. Thank you. I'm 72 years old. I could be a great grandmother, <laughs> and I don't even own a pair of shoes that uh, that aren't, aren't done with credit. <laughs> no, I like Florida. It's great. Yeah. Where do you live? Fort Lauderdale. Uh, like in between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. Fort like Lauderdale is where all the gay porn stars hang out. Really? Yeah. We're at friends Will, with Rochelle. Rochelle Manners. Oh, Rochelle Ryan's probably trying to fucking oh, date him. You know Rochelle Ryan, the porn star? star? I don't. She loves college boys and she's hot as hell. Really? I'll show you her picture. I might have to, yeah. Slide into your hands. She would love you. We had Rochelle Ryan on. <laughs> for those you haven't seen, check it out. What she does is she goes on Tinder with her straight up porn pictures. She gets college guys and then they come over to fuck her and she'll go, oh, do you mind if I film it on my phone? And she'll do like anonymous... No like shit. Whatever. Yeah, she loves college boys. Imagine if they actually like started dating and gotten a and we set them up. Yeah, wow. we could start our own millionaire millionaire matchmaker show. I but mean, like if she's she DM'd got, me whenever I was in college, I mean it would. I'm been. sure she did. She's dragging a wagon that one. Oh, I see right here. She oh, there she is with us. May she, this very same seat you're sitting in. Cinco de Mayo, huh? Yeah, yeah. A little Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Mayo. Yeah. A little Cinco de Mayo taco, huh? <laughs> yeah. Little, well, she she nice showed taco. us her pink taco, but yeah, if you're into, if you're looking for, you know. A thunderfuck. She'll uh, if you're looking for a girl. To, if you're looking for a girl to throw that thing down so hard, she'll shout on your pelvis. Yeah, that's Rochelle Ryan. Okay, now okay. she will crack the hip. <laughs> do you date? Are you dating? Or are you just fucking? Just fucking. Yeah. yeah. And how do you find these? Are all the girls you find? Are they like? Same as Marty. They got to be gorgeous. Are they all girls like around your age? <sighs> I mean, yeah. I don't. It doesn't really skew much off of like the. I don't, I don't do 18, like How 20, 20 to 25. There's been a few, like t a little bit older. How than old that, are you? But I'm 23. Same. Right. Right. We're the same age, right? Yeah. yeah. We're both in, we're in January too. We're both Capricorns. You're the 22nd, oh. 13th. I am the, th I'm the third. Great memory, Joe. We used what to the? date Griffin. Oh, oh my I God. Forgot. Clearly, you did the, <laughs> yeah. didn't mean them as much as you just said to me. <laughs> he hasn't stopped talking about it. <laughs> now, Nan has a tough time separating reality from <laughs> Um, so you're just like meet. How do you meet girls? You go out and you meet them, or it's, I'm sure it's just DMs. DMs. It's probably just like fishing with dynamite. Girls are in your DMs, and you just go through and you pick the hottest one. <laughs> you invite them over. You probably wear headphones and dark shades. Yeah, on the couch. How do you how do you how do you uh, weed out the thirst traps trying to you, use you for your fame and money? Mm. I'm still having trouble with it. It's I don't think you really can. Yeah, but you just happen so, to have more times than not. Would you think that girl um, you can get thirsty people just using you because of your stature and a uh, which ironically, yeah. which ironically is what we're doing. Right? Yeah. The reason we <laughs> asked you here now, Griffin, is I will try to make you. And Trish will get in the bank account. No, what, okay. I, what I love is, is uh, that people- Oh, it's Tommy Salami. Oh, hold Tommy on, Salami. Go. I missed a phone call from Tommy Salami. Hello, Mr. Salami. All right. Um, I was going to say pick it up, but it already went. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, talk to us about the thirst traps. Okay. Um, well, a lot of people, they, they try to act like they're not like a fan or they don't know who you are. And they're like- they, 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 then they overdo it. Then they're Sandra. just assholes. Then they're just assholes. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. Because they, they're, they're too jealous. standoffish. They yeah, pretend they're, too much. Oh, like, what do you do? What's I don't your give name? a fuck. I don't watch TikTok. Yeah. Fucking TikTok sucks. And yeah. Like, That's you know, not what you want. I didn't say I did TikTok. So how'd you even know I did TikTok? King. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On God. No cap. And that, yeah. That's a major fuck up. That's a major fuck up. Ooh. So what, what's your type? Ooh. Um, you know. 6'4", gangly. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Has a podcast at Barcelona. <laughs> 
<laughs> do you have a t- <laughs> do you have a do you have a type of lady you like? Not not really. I've had like I've dated blondes, I've dated brunettes, black hair, tan, pale. Black people. Like, I've been around. The, I've been around. I've I've thought about that before. Actually, what's my type? I don't. You really a checkerboard know. chick? A checkered board. <laughs> Oh, the one question I did write down. <laughs> What's I don't know if you're going to say this or not because it's quite controversial. Okay. Do you know what? Do you know your number? Oh, your body count. My number. Oh. Um, we can do an over under if that makes you more comfortable. You see, I've tried to put it out in my notes before. I did too, but I ran out of sh- I paper. Ran, I I, forgot. I had a physical note. No, no, no. And then you <laughs> like I had sex you'll be I going just, through I just write it with, a, with a quill pen. <laughs> <laughs> so he was actually did, so this was colonial times back when Anna had sex. <laughs> He goes, I did need to write, get a quill. Yeah. <laughs> to write my list. <laughs> so you don't know your number. It's got to be I really hun- don't, hundreds easily. Hundreds easily. I don't know. She's my thousands. If, you, if I had to do an over under, I would say probably definitely over like 30, but under Full a, 100, but somewhere in that skew because now more than 30. Uh, yeah, Griffin, uh, you <laughs> in the fifty to one hundred. You've been Griffin, honest thus far, dear. Can Let's can I, I stop now? Can I ask you something, Griffin? I really don't know. Though. Do you mind if I uh, see um, this earlobe, please? This earlobe. Oh, she yeah, doesn't know I what this is. Up. Tuck your hair back so I can see your full ear. Okay. Wow. <laughs> is that is that a thing? <laughs> do, I, do I do I have good lobes? You have great lobes, dear. Yes. Wow, dear, that is very oh, grandmother. I haven't seen a result like that in a long time. She <laughs> since jet ski. Since jet ski. No, it's like, yeah. So, do you want us to tell you the science? Okay. I've I've studied this um, at the University of Skin Flute of Skin, skin Flute, okay. the University of Phoenix Online. Oh yeah, for I've many years. That. Yeah, yeah. And um, I have I have a I uh, a diagnostic. I can tell how how big a guy's dick is. I can tell how big a guy's dick is just like from looking at their earlobe. And I, I really can, I can see this. the length and the girth. I can see everything. And it's, it's, it's this. It's, it's the measure from no, here to that's here, not, isn't it? That doesn't. I, that doesn't. That's as, the real the science isn't as proven as the, what I've. What I've <laughs> Joey holds his hands up. It's this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can tell the length and girth. Not exactly, but almost exactly. I can tell the shape as well. That's a direct correlation. Are you look serious? Your, yeah. Look at your dip next time. Is that like a superpower? Is that like a science? What's that's a science that's I found years out. of practice. <laughs> that's years of practice. Yeah. Okay. So there's a formula, but only you know it's, the formula. No, the formula is, look at Trisha's ear. Oh, here we go. Okay. Sandra, can you point to the dip for me? Do you mind? <laughs> I've attached earlobes. He's going to tell me I have no dick. No, no. You have a... <laughs> <laughs> yours is, see, this is a setup for the joke. No, it's not. That is full dip. <laughs> no, yours is exactly right. What do you mean it's exactly right? The, how, look, look at the dip. See the dip in his ear. The, the long uh, yes. the, that yes. part there. So yes. that you can this see the to here, I have no lobe. Not that. No, 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 no. There's a dip the, there. The dip. I see the dip. So the dip. That's what you're looking for. Is the dip. You can see how camera length it is. How <laughs> the long it is. So his. I've seen his dick before, and that is. Okay, so so that one you see is like some people have no dip, so that means it's like very small. But that dip okay. means it is long and not very very thick, but it's it's big. It's long. Yeah. Okay. Yours is both. That was very nice. I thought you were going to say something very no. mean. It's uh, of yours course is, it's, of course it's a very line, heavy, but it's nice. No, yours, okay. is, I can, yours is definitely heavy. It's probably a good three pounds on its own. Three pounds. If we have Griffin on the show. It, it would sound like this. Guessing. It would sound like this. If it dropped on the floor. Okay. I'll take that. How is I don't your, know about how that. Is your oh, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> now, I, I will see, need to. I, I will need to relax. <laughs> now she just took her peel. It hasn't set in. How has? Um, why aren't you doing any of the podcasting stuff? How do you make money? Is it just <clears throat> off TikTok reels? No. So I do a lot of like business stuff brand on deals. The side. I like. We have a VC fund. We have like all kinds of shit. What's going a VC on. fund? You you invest money basically. Venture capital. So you raise, yeah, venture capital. You raise money. Now, Sandra sells um, uh, creams from the Dead Sea. That's a pyramid scheme. So if you want, okay, she can. You can invest with her company. Really? And you can sell. You can make. She you also can, sells used panties. Yeah. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Only when she's on the rag. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, you have the v, you have the VC you have the VC yeah. you have the VC fund. Yep. <laughs> Back to reality. You have the VC fund. Yep. You, are you required to put in like a certain amount of money every month, or they go through like here's your Series A, this is what we're putting in. Here's your Series B, and yep. then who allocates where the money goes? So we have a guy that runs our fund. Is it Michael Gruen? It's not Michael Gruen. Okay. Michael good. Gruen helped us start it, but a guy yeah. named Marshall Sandman does. So it. does he have a piece of it, Gruen? Uh, our first fund, not the second fund. Got it. Let's okay. pretend my Venmo account is the fund. It's just press, press, press right. VC okay. on, on that. Press. I got it. Great. Okay. <laughs> um, so he puts in, it's on cameo. So I'm he sorry. puts in 
so you guys are saying, okay, there's 10 TikTokers. Mm -hmm. You each have to put in half a million bucks or whatever <laughs> it is. And then how does it work? No, so we raise money from like not TikTok. Oh. But the reason I said that was because I do a lot of deals like, you know, regular brand deals where they just pay you and you post about it. Yeah. But instead they'll be like, we want your name in our like advisory board or whatever. So I'll put in some money. And then they do like a regular brand deal. So they kick me money back. But really, I'm just getting the brand deal because they wanted to say I invested. Got so that's how a lot it. of my deals are. So how many people are on your team? Um, so I'm signed to WME. There's there's so they set you up with six everyone, of us, essentially. Um, a lot. Yeah. Some of it's on my own, like some of it's them. But we just kind of, you know, come together and, and, and tackle it. Now, this is a business podcast. We, we yeah. just went full token CEO. Well, now you don't have to do token CEO either because we just got to the bottom of it all. Right, right. Joey, what are you doing? I was looking through my DMs. Anyone, in, okay. anyone of note? Yeah. Yeah. Someone, I got invited to a birthday party and someone said fucking disgusting to our video of um, our science fair. That was all I got science to look at. Science fair. We had yeah. a science fair okay. recently. Okay. We turned frogs gay and then turned them back to straight. Right. How it was you, with Arian Foster, believe it or not. Yeah. Wait, you can turn frogs. Yes. What? Well, Bailey really? Football developed a special anecdote that he has. Mm -hmm. The anachrome, what's it called? Anachrome. Yeah. Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome. Yep. So, so that was okay. great. Okay. That's interesting. Well, let's um, exchange phone numbers. Exchange phone numbers. <laughs> let's exchange snaps and Venmos as well. I'll also need some credit cards for Apple Pay. Okay. Yeah, I will need, um, I'll send you some toe picks. Okay. Sandra will send you her bussy. You can, you can get some good money for those. I, I think. know. I had Actually. a I had a, a, a fin sub for a while who would send me money. Fin dom. I, I was the fin dom. I would talk shit oh, to him online. I'd be like, "You dirty little." <laughs> and he'd send me like. I told you. Why? Yeah, dude. I and he would send me like a hundred dollars every asked time. You I asked not to talk about what our past. <laughs> God. No, it was insane. And then it escalated. He's like, "Send pictures of your feet." I was like, "That's a buck fifty, sis." That's a and buck. And then I do that. And then he'd be like, "Can you put your dick next to your foot?" And I was like, "Sure, I'll put my dick next to my foot." So I was making like a thousand dollars a week. Now I get a charge for like, if I try to do that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to think about that. It's like I jacked it up like this. <laughs> yeah, what's the, now? She will do a contortion. Go down like that. Now I will contort. <laughs> and so I was doing that. Now I was selling those for two hundred. That's and, a lot. But of work. it was great. But I was making over a thousand dollars a week. And then this guy, he was a Brooklyn restaurateur, and then he just disappeared off the face of the earth. And I've been trying to find him ever since. But he sent me a really gross picture once that I was like, "This isn't Ugh. worth the money." I'm not even going to say what it was, but it was a gaping asshole. Okay, wow. that was too much. Yeesh. Yeah. Wow. So that's where I cut it off. I'm sure you've gotten tons of requests for people to. I've definitely gotten some in the days. <laughs> yeah. I haven't counted really. Only know. fans for you ever? Probably not. Okay. Yeah. Rochelle, unless you meet Rochelle, she'll she'll stick you on there without your consent. Yeah. <laughs> she has. She actually real? has a camera hidden in her pussy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she just puts a GoPro in there. Or why? Yeah. <laughs> Shoves it in there. Imagine you go on you go on Instagram and open. Uh, you click on Joey's profile and messages. It's just all Joey. It's just pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from me to him. <laughs> I'm no. saying to her. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We don't mean to misgender. <laughs> Even though Pride yeah, yeah, Month's yeah. over. Um, well, Griffin, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for coming on. We have to thank Kareem as well. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, even though he lied about both the price of his apartment and the size his, of his, his cock, penis yeah. before this really? show, we really do appreciate him. Um, and whenever you're in New York, make sure to come by and I'd tell you to plug your shit, but everyone knows where to find you. Any new projects you want to talk about? Anything at all coming up? You don't care. No, I just got a movie. That's about it. A movie? Yeah. I, I fly out tomorrow actually to do all that stuff. Oh, you couldn't have brought so. that up at the top of the interview? Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? Yeah, this like divulge into like sexual like perversion. <laughs> what is, what's the movie? Hey guys, now that we've talked about my penis, uh, yeah. I have a movie coming out. Are you, you're acting in it? <laughs> yeah, so I produced and I, I'm starring in it. It's pretty wow. funny. Wow. What's yeah. it called? What's it about? It's called, it's funny because there's a song on TikTok already called this, but Diamond in the Rough. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it's like a rom-com leaning more towards comedy, but- uh, it's with like David Koshner from The Office and Anchorman, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny as hell. Oh, wow. Uh, and Samantha Boscarino from Good Luck Charlie. Yes. Yeah. Do you need oh, any extras? Shit. Any overweight middle-aged extras? Yeah, you want to come no, in? No, Sandra's just... available. Yeah. She, said, <laughs> she said, and she's always had the acting bug for many years. <laughs> this is just good. a stepping stone. <laughs> that was good. That was good. So so you're going to start shooting that. I'm sure by the time. Well, I'm finished. It's oh, you're coming finished. Out. When yeah. does it actually come out? Because it'll probably be huh. out by the time this airs. Uh, June 29th. Oh, it'll be out. And when, where can people find it? So it's going to go in theaters first. It's like weird how they structure deals. So it's like, it comes out. It's like people can watch it in theaters and shit. And then it takes like three or four months because Hollywood's slow. And then it goes out to like You're Amazon. telling me, sister. And then it, it goes out forever. to where? Yeah, right. Amazon. <laughs> It'll be on Amazon. Oh. And uh, 
There's like a app you can watch it on called Creator Plus too. Good wow. for you. That's incredible. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Constantly, you should be very proud of yourself. You're doing big things at uh, such a young age and you're very humble and uh, polite. Thank you. You're I'm going to, can I clip that? Yes. Can, we, can we clip that? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'll put that on my resume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Griffin, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube. Goodbye. Subscribe. <laughs>